Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and uh, Pisces Rising. Monthly Tarot reading, November 2019, and bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your moon Pisces, that is going to be the Hermit. The second card represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month here, that is going to be the Emperor card. Followed by the third one which stands for the intentions that uh, you should adopt throughout the month or also could be taken as the best possible course of action. We do have the Seven of Swords. Followed by the fourth one, which is in regards to the lesson that you are to learn, the lesson that the month is going to teach you, or it could be taken as well as why this is all happening. We do have the nine of cups. Pretty straightforward up until this moment. And the last one is the energies that are to support you here. Flawless, we do have the Hierophant card. All right, so pretty interesting. As a matter of fact, this is the most straightforward reading that I had for this month. Um... To be honest, Aquarius and Capricorn was they were very difficult readings. Okay, it's kind of like they're they were very very broad, but this one is pretty narrow. Okay, so before we go into that, let's run the cards one more time. <clears throat> we do have the um, the Hermit card as a topic, followed by uh, the um, Emperor card, which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome. The third card here stands for the uh, intentions that you need to have throughout the month or it also could be taken for the best possible course of action. The fourth card stands for the lesson that you need to learn or that you are to learn throughout the months of November or in other words why this is all happening. And the last one it is in regards to that will be the nine of uh, cups and the last one which is the Hierophant card stands for the energies that are to support you throughout the month. All right. So, uh, the Hermit card, in this case, is going to be catalyzed here whoa, by the Empress. So, we do have a passive support to see into this position, and uh, that will going to be a pretty significant month. I, I could say that that is the most significant one for, month for you up until the start of the year. Why? It is because this uh, month, you are to focus on what is substantial for you. So think about what is really substantial. What is that thing? What is that light that shines for you at the end of the tunnel? Is it a person? Is it a job? You know, is it a relationship? Is it new car? Is it a home that you do want? And this is what you, what you are to focus on. Now, <clears throat> rather than before, daydreaming about it, right? And having a celluloid expectations, this time around, Pisces, you are to attend to the matter with a, um, a huge portion of wisdom and intelligence. 
and um, it is very likely that you are to withdraw from many people around and from many situations as well. People and situations that are pretty much, let's say, um, clouding your, your vision and your ability to make a balanced, well-found and mature judgment in regards how you are to proceed from now on. Because... Um, <clears throat> You will very well understand that at the end of the day, no matter how many people were giving you advice, no matter how many people were trying you, to, trying to sway you this way and that way, at the end of the day, you're going to be the one who has to face the circumstances and the consequences for that matter from the decision that you are to make. So instead of allowing people to take decision, decisions for you this time around, you're going to make it for yourself. Now, you have to be prepared, however, because once you make that uh, decision but as well is going to be accompanied by you changing on a direction changing on a um, a goal maybe you know or simply a, a vision a, 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 a an achievement and so on and so forth there won't be much people to applaud you for it as a matter of fact some of uh, some of your environment some of the people into your environment may be extremely displeased however those who are left there uh, that are cheering up for you, you can rely on their unconditional support moving on forward. <clears throat> but definitely, uh, Pisces, throughout this month, if you are feeling that you are left in the dark and cold place, you are going to see the light for you that shines there in the darkness. And the only thing that you need to do here, guys, is just reach out and grab it. And it needs to be made with intelligent and wise maneuvers as well. So the challenge uh, is going to be the Emperor card here and it is accompanied or kind of catalyzed by the Eight of Swords. So <coughs> in this case, the challenge is quite, se quite severe. Uh, here we, uh, we can observe, first of all, these cards, a, an active friend and uh, we can observe a, a pretty strict... How do you say it? It's not even, it's not rule or regulations. It's more like pretty strict step by step that you will have to, that you will have to execute, that you will have to go on forward with. And um, un unfortunately, you won't be able to be very playful with the situation. Take it that way, that there is only one way how you can act here. You pretty much are going to know that way, it's not going to be a secret and mystery for you. And it all comes to that. Do you have the bows to do it? Or do you not have the bows to do it? <clears throat> On another note, these two cards here may uh, display a pure lack of, uh, of reliability. Pure lack of, um, of trust from those that are around you. In you and it is kind of understandable that is because you no longer focus on a mutual goal on a mutual thing that it is substantial for them but not substantial for you you know this time around you focus on your sub personal substantial and essential things and it is normal that those around you are to see you in reliable because you're no longer following them and uh, that will cause some severance into communications, severance into friendships as well. And in generally, um, you may feel that you are left alone in the cold. But that is exactly the condition that the hermit plays under. That is exactly the condition that the hermit thrives upon. Okay, Being left alone in the cold be therefore withdrawn from the ideas of the rest and from the world so you can hear and see your own idea your own goal your own agenda if you want to say it that way well if you want me to be a little bit more practical here i would say that throughout the month of november you're going to stumble on your job you're going to stumble on your suitor. You're going to stumble on your way how to stabilize your relationship. And once again, do you have the balls to do it? So, um, 
the other card it is in about the intentions and as we as we talked about the the bows that is the seven of swords here and it is catalyzed by the six of cups so intention wise uh, these two cards first of all they are a active neutrals and they call to stand for your personal rights and truly storming out um what it is in front of you not allowing anybody to tell you what to do now the seven of swords in this particular case plays the role of someone who knows their value it plays the role of someone who understands that if one is a follower it's never going to reach a grant achieve. it's never going to reach basically a point where they can say i am happy because of myself they will always going to be a follower they will always going to be a slave you know and they will always going to concern what the people say about them okay and instead of one being an example one is going to follow an example so you are going to strain for that how well it seems like you will have to do some things that you would rather not want to do they are not going to create a, a very pleasant emotions within them within yourself but um you are to uh, recognize here that these actions are to be quite necessary so you can give those uh, around you to um you, you make them a note that you are an individual you are a person and for that reason you do have a personal life and for that reason, you do have a, a personal goal. Now, it's important here, once again, Pisces, that this month is all about your personal goal, not your friend's personal goal, not your mother's personal goal, not your girlfriend or a boyfriend personal goal. It is about your own personal goal. And if you don't have one, well, I suggest you to start focusing on what do you want for yourself, what, where do you want to be in the future? Because the month of November will allow you to grasp on this path that is going to lead you there. So uh, the next one, it is about the uh, lesson that you need to learn or that you are to learn here. We do have the Nine of Cups and that is accompanied by the World card. That is a very, very strong lesson. So uh, the lesson points that um, the sensual joy, content, and uh, exhilaration can be found in many, many different gazes in this world, right? Or, yeah, in, in this world. But it is important to find your own happiness in there, not to follow someone else's happiness. It's no different than trying to make someone happy constantly, hoping that you are going to be happy because they are happy. Okay, you have to turn your look, your glance towards yourself and find those kind of uh, enterprises, endeavors or people that are making you happy independently. Because if you do allow your happiness to depend on someone else or something else, then you are not a free person. You are a slave. And that is the lesson. Once you do find your what makes you happy, your personal source of happiness uh it looks like that you're to consolidate on it is going to become indestructible and from there you will pretty much have no problem whatsoever to look toward the new brighter perspectives that the future is presenting to you knowing that even though you may face you know disappointments uh, further into the future setbacks failures even you always have that thing which is yours you know, you always have that source, once again, of happiness that no one can take it away from you. And the last one is going to be the energies that are to support you here. We do have the Hierophant card and it is accompanied by the Four of Swords. Uh, pretty peculiar, to be honest. Uh, these cards, first of all, they form a passive enemies type of, uh, type of relationship. And uh, what they point... And it is once again the differences in between your beliefs and in between the opinion of the others or what the others wants from you to do. So their beliefs are going to look or they are going to feel alien. And for that reason, you are going to start alienate 
from these people or from these situations. You may be involved in a certain enterprise right now or in a certain situation and in the months of November, suddenly throughout those energies, something, those two ener those two cards that are this expressing the energies, suddenly you wake up one morning and you say, girl, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? All right? It, it makes you feel miserable. It doesn't give you anything and yet you are doing it. So instead of doing it, instead of throwing a, a precious time and source of happiness into it, why don't you just, you know, try to find your own source of happiness? It's all about that. It is, it is uh, these energies will align you in the framework of your own emotional abundance, fulfillment, and eventually st st stabilization and sensual joy. So that being said, Pisces, this was your a monthly tarot reading, guys, for November 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.